In 1831, workmen were improving the outfall of the nearby cotton mill in Tutbury, Staffordshire. This work was for the construction of an embankment to separate the outflow from the main river, using gravel from the riverbed. While digging, workers saw glimmers of silver in the silt, and to their amazement discovered a hoard of medieval coins. The coins were embedded in the gravel some 60 yards below the bridge, which the diggers quietly dispersed amongst themselves. Over the next few days, more coins were discovered as they went upstream, with 5,000 coins being found by two men in one day. News of the coins spread rapidly, and soon hundreds of people took up the treasure hunt. Men, women and children were often waist deep in the river, working with shovels. It is estimated that 100,000 coins were recovered, but this is only a third of what is believed to have been lost. But from where did this treasure originate? Thomas, Earl of Lancaster, sided with the rebels against his cousin King Edward II in the Dispenser War which lasted from 1321 to 1322. Having defeated his martial lord allies in Wales, Edward's army was proceeding northwards to engage Lancaster. Upon hearing of the King's advance, Lancaster fortified the bridge at Burton-upon-Trent, an important crossing of the River Trent in an attempt to prevent the King from proceeding. This became known as the Battle of Burton Bridge, though in truth it was not a battle at all. On the 10th of March 1322, Edward's main force crossed the river at Walton and proceeded to the south side of Burton. Lancaster moved his men outside the town, intending to face the king in open battle, but withdrew northwards when he saw that he was heavily outnumbered, burning the town of Burton-on-Trent as he retreated. The king's troops, led by John de Warren, the 7th Earl of Surrey, and Edmund of Woodstock, the 1st Earl of Kent, Chase Lancaster, who was able to flee to Tutbury Castle under the cover of darkness, and, with much of his army, evaded Edward's patrol to cross the flooded river Dove and make his way northwards. Lancaster's army carried amongst its baggage large wooden casks filled with money in which to pay the soldiers. Many witnesses later confessed to seeing these casks, but never revealed what was in them and it was most probable that they simply didn't know what was in them. It is uncertain as to how these casts were lost, and it is assumed that Lancaster's treasurer simply lost them while crossing the flooded Dove. Another theory is that the monks from Tutbury Priory hid the treasure for their own procurement, or safekeeping until the king returned. It has also been suggested that looters of the castle found three barrels containing £1,500, and hid them in the bank of the river. The coins were forgotten and lay where they were for hundreds of years, the barrels rotting away and the coins scattered by the current. Although it is accepted by historians that some 360,000 coins were originally in the casks. The cotton mill's owner in 1831 was Mr John Webb, who had been away when the treasure had been discovered. Upon returning, he addressed the persons in the river. He informed them that he believed it was a question as to whom the treasure belonged, himself or the crown, and if it were he, then he would allow them to keep what they had found. Any question as to the ownership of the treasure was soon answered upon Mr Webb arriving at his accounting house to find a letter containing an order from the crown to stop all further searches. This order is displayed today inside St Mary's Church in Tutbury. To enforce this order, it was necessary to swear in special officers and to put the Burton Troop of Yeomanry on alert should their service be required. With the locals now having such wealth, it caused excessive drinking, quarrels and disturbances. What coins the locals found were soon gone, untraceable to this day. After further digging on behalf of the duchy, the excavations were finally filled in by order of William IV. To this day, the order remains in place. 
This treasure is thought to be the largest coin hoard ever discovered in the UK. The whereabouts of only 1,500 of these coins are known, with the remainder suspected of having been taken by local villagers upon the discovery of the hoard. The British Museum holds some of the coins and has previously appealed for the owners of any to come forward so that they can be recorded. The final count included gold and silver coins of Henry III, Edward I, Edward II, Scottish coins of Alexander III and Robert the Bruce, plus kings of Bohemia and Poland. The fate of those coins that were discovered is uncertain. But what is certain is that many coins remain out there somewhere, and many more remain buried deep beneath the murky waters of the River Dove. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe and share this video out there. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, goodbye.